Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 34-year-old male who fell recently. He's got diffuse knee pain, and on this view, we can see the problem. This is the femur, the big thigh bone coming down here to get oriented. It has a lateral side here called the lateral condyle, and beneath this is the lateral tibial plateau, and sandwiched between those is a little black wedge called the meniscus. So this meniscus looks normal. On this side, we have the same thing. We have a medial femoral condyle, and the medial tibial plateau down here, and this is the medial meniscus. Now the medial meniscus doesn't look quite right. The lateral meniscus is a beautiful triangle. The outside of it is sharp and vertically oriented. On the medial side, we see a little bit of irregularity along the outside. This is called the capsular surface. Here's the superior articular surface, inferior surface, and this is the peripheral rim or capsular surface. And the medial meniscus is adherent to this structure. This is the medial collateral ligament. Normally these are really closely approximated. They kind of stick together. And there's no separation, but in this case we see that the peripheral rim of the meniscus is kind of jagged and irregular as compared to this side where it's clean. And also there's brightness between the medial collateral ligament and the meniscus. This is what we call a meniscal capsular junction tear and separation here. And this is related to an injury of this medial collateral ligament. The MCL comes off the femur up high, that looks good up here. Comes down here, looks a little lax, a little bit wavy. Should be very straight and taut, but instead it's lax, so we know there's a problem. And the problem is down here, we see it just kind of fizzle out. We don't see the tibial attachment down here very well. So it has a partial tear, high grade partial tear, maybe even a complete tear down here from the tibial attachment. And it's recoiled back a little bit, it's lax. And there's also a tear of this menisco capsular junction. We also note that there's some patchy brightness out here. This is marrow edema within the lateral femur. So he has been impacted over here. He has a bone bruise. And when you get impacted over here, um, it stretches the inner side. You get valgus stress injury. The tibia will rotate out laterally and will put uh, distractor forces on this and in this patient and, you know, toward the medial collateral ligament distally. Often we see the tears more proximally, but in this case it was a distal tear. So impaction here and then widening of the joint over here and stretching of this and also this tear of the meniscal capsular junction. And on this view, this is an axial view, we can see the kneecap up front looking great. You can see the cartilage over the rim and here we see that patchy marrow edema over the lateral femur. And over here on the inner side is where we have that torn meniscus, I'm sorry, torn medial collateral ligament.